At its core, Coffee Talk is a heart-to-heart -heart simulator where you brew tea and coffee for your clientele. It really is the perfect cozy game with an incredible artwork, an even more incredible story, and as you'll know if you're watching this video, it will leave you wanting more. Hi, I'm Ellie and this is the Cozy Gaming Club where we talk about all the latest cozy games. Today we're talking about Coffee Talk, or rather Coffee Talk Likes, for if you've finished Coffee Talk and Coffee Talk Episode 2, Hibiscus and Butterfly, and are looking for something new to fill that conversation sim hole in your heart. There are 10 games on today's list, most of them are already available to play, but there are a couple of upcoming games as well to keep your eye on. Let's get started with a game that is considered to be the inspiration for Coffee Talk, Valhalla. Set in a post-dystopian world, you run a downtown bar that attracts the most fascinating people in this cyberpunk dystopia of Glitch City. Serve your customers, get to know their preferences, and change their lives through the drinks you prepare for them. Getting to know your clientele also plays a role in Valhalla, but they handle them in different ways. In Coffee Talk, you listen to your customers' problems and help them by serving up a warm drink or two. Whereas in Valhalla, you'll find yourself drawing out the NPC's stories through inebriation. The stakes are also much higher than in Coffee Talk, as serving the wrong drink can mean you earn less tips, and running out of money can abruptly end your game. Despite the heavier themes, I still recommend trying this one out as the story and world building are incredible. We're only on game two and I'm already throwing a curveball in there with Neocab. This follows the cyberpunk dystopian future of the last game, but instead of running a bar, you play as the last human taxi driver. Most of the game is spent talking to strangers that you've just met as they take a ride in your cab. Like Valhalla, in this game you need to earn enough money to keep a roof over your head, so as you pick up each passenger, you can have a chat with them during their ride, and the quality of the conversation affects your tip, and your driver rating. One of the most interesting parts of Neocab is that you can view the emotions of the main character, Lena. Depending on how intensely she feels an emotion, you'll both lose old choices and unlock new choices in your conversation with passengers. While we're on the topic of cyberpunk narrative games, it would be remiss not to mention Red Strings Club. In this game, you'll find yourself once again in a dive bar, mixing drinks for the customers to uncover the wider story. But like Valhalla, this one runs a little bit darker than Coffee Talk. In the Red Strings Club, you'll be working to bring down a mega corporation that's trying to brainwash society as a way to eliminate negative emotions. Alongside unwitting company employees and a rogue empathy android, you will pull all the strings you can to put a stop to this. Gameplay shifts between playing as a bartender trying to weed information out of a customer, to working as a hacker trying to infiltrate the company, or as a robot designing genetic implants to change the personality of someone. I've not played this one myself, but it has incredible reviews and asks a lot of big questions that are difficult to answer. While we're on the topic of the Red Strings Club, this is the perfect time to mention their latest game, The Cosmic Wheel Sisterhood. This game combines deep narrative with beautiful pixel art as players take on the role of Fortuna, a witch who has been exiled for thousands of years. But Fortuna makes a pact with a behemoth in the hopes of regaining her freedom. As you delve into this universe, you will see yourself immersed in the complex web of interests that surround your coven, leading to a political plot that will define the fate of the Cosmic Witch Society. What sets this game apart from other games on this list are the tarot cards. Through the main storyline, you'll be able to reconnect with fellow witches and use the cards you've created to explore their past and their futures. The Cosmic Wheel Sisterhood has a spellbinding tale to tell with a well-written narrative and multi-dimensional characters, although it does lean towards a more mature audience due to the content of sexual nature. If you do decide to play it though, there are seven different endings for you to discover. Solitaire also has similar themes to the Cosmic Wheel Sisterhood, with its focus on tarot cards and predicting the future, and is perhaps the coziest of the titles we've discussed so far. In Solitaire, you open up a fortune-telling cafe to help your customers with their troubles. Listen to their problems and then shuffle your deck and lay out the cards to divine their future. But the choices you make will change the course of your character's lives, so be careful about how much or how little you choose to share with them. This is an upcoming game, but I love the art style, and the premise sounds really interesting as well. I don't know when it's going to be releasing, but when it does, I will be featuring it right here on my channel, so make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss that. 
We're returning to the world of mixology in Tavern Talk, another upcoming game which combines the world of Dungeons and Dragons with the relaxing conversations of Coffee Talk. You are the owner of the Wayfarer Inn, a seemingly ordinary tavern in the middle of the world. As the barkeep of an adventurer's tavern, you're responsible for quenching the thirst of any courageous adventurers that stop by your watering hole. Serve an ever-growing menu of magical drinks to your patrons, but choose carefully as your choice will alter their fates. As the innkeeper, you listen to your patrons' worries, dreams, and stories while they sit at your bar, and then make them the drink that they need most. And while you're there, listen to the rumours from the tavern goers and use them to create quests for your adventurous guests. But beyond the wall of this cosy tavern, a world-threatening danger is brewing. Every quest, rumour, and conversation is intertwined with the ultimate fate of the land. Although this one is upcoming, it should be releasing in summer of this year according to their Kickstarter. So there's not long to wait. This next game is incredibly well known, but if you haven't played Strange Horticulture yet, I would highly recommend this one. You're the new owner of the local plant store, and with every new patron that enters your shop, you need to correctly identify what plant they're looking for. With your trusty encyclopedia in hand, you'll have to compare leaf shapes and plant colours to correctly choose the right item for your customer. But be careful, as one wrong choice could be the difference between life and death. Between helping your customers and finding new species of plants for your store, you'll also be visited by a number of strange patrons with mysterious quests. Choices you make on who to help and who to hinder will change the outcome of the game and the fates of the characters who you're coming to know. This next one has a really interesting twist. In every hue of you, overwhelming emotions can have special effects, like joy growing plants and anger causing fire. In this game, you've just taken over your late mother's jewellery shop when you discover that you're a conduit, someone who can remove the emotional energy from others. Suddenly, you're enchanting jewellery with your customers' emotions, helping them create the perfect sentimental gifts for their lovers. Delve into deep conversations with these memorable characters and embrace them with every hue to coax out their true feelings. I love how unique the plot of this is, and although it doesn't have many reviews at the moment, they're all positive. This next game is like coffee talk, but with tea. In a tavern for tea, you play as the owner of a tea shop, which is frequented by fantasy creatures, each with their own tales to tell. It's a relatively short visual novel and tea brewing simulator that encourages you to listen to your customers and brew the tea that they didn't know they needed. And at only £2.49, it's incredibly cheap and 98% of the reviews are positive. This final game is called Zips Cafe and it describes itself as a bite-sized cafe management sim with a noir-like story and cosy atmosphere. It actually gives me a lot of backbone vibes. You play as a raccoon, there's a definite noir atmosphere, and all of the animal character artworks are incredible. Unlike Coffee Talk though, this game seems to have substantial cooking mechanics, from brewing the coffee to cooking up a full breakfast on your stove. It seems like a lot more cooking management heavy than some of the other games on this list. Besides making unusual recipes, there's a lot to get up to. You can get involved in shady dealings, or try to start a new life while searching for both love and revenge. Zip's Cafe is a bittersweet little story of what we have to sacrifice to make a real difference in our lives, while meeting extraordinary characters and preparing unusual recipes. But maybe you know of another Coffee Talk-like game that I don't know about. If you do, make sure to drop it in the comments because I want to play all of them and I'll definitely be adding it to my wish list. I hope you enjoyed today's video and that you maybe discovered a game or two that you haven't heard of before. If you do, I'd love it if you could like and subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you next video. Bye!